Hey guys, Super Lego Dad here, and I wanted to do a quick review of the cargo train, set number 60198, 1,226 pieces. So my parents got this for me for my birthday. Uh, as you know and have seen in my room, I absolutely love trains. I got a, a train usually running all the way around the room uh, for a lot of time. Uh, whenever the kids come on, I put it on and they run around and, and they love it. So, uh, but this is just another one that I was excited to add to the collection, uh, the cargo train. I'll talk a little bit about each one and I don't have my tripod or whatever. So uh, I'm just gonna hold the camera and, and just do a quick review so I could put it up on the channel. Uh, the actual train kind of gives me a vibe like the crocodile a little bit, but can go either way. And I'm a big fan of trains that make it look like they can go either direction. Um, the piece on the front here is a little different, obviously for like snow or whatever, to push stuff off in the way of the track, which I thought was cool. Um, the battery compartment, if, if I could be negative about Lego in any way, um, which I, I love, absolutely love this set, but when you gotta change batteries left and right and this pops out, these pieces have to come off. Okay, like I just did there. And then you have to basically lift uh, and see with one with one hand, it's, it's not that easy. Um, but you take those off and then the battery lifts out of here. So uh, I, I know when you try to keep stuff concealed and not shown, uh, it makes it a little tough, but still, you know, a little annoying to me that you have to kind of push that out and then put the pieces back on. But other than that, I think the green locomotive on the front is a great look. Comes a little minifigure. He's sitting inside there. Okay. Um, and just put those pieces back on there. We'll show you one more cool thing. This on top here just kind of presses down. And if you look, that's like, and that's what turns it on or whatever right there. So a little contraption on the front. The next car is a... Uh, just a a bank car and a little storage thing for the snow uh, snow snowmobile. The bank opens up, and I actually think you can put the money that goes on the forklift uh, right in there. So it's this whole cargo train is about transporting money from the bank or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Then we have um, you know what's nice about these is they come off also, and they can get picked up by the forklift there. All right, so we have that. Uh, we have another one that is carrying logs. I probably would never stand in that spot, but the book has them uh, standing right up in there. So these also come off and they have, you know, you can carry them with the hook with a little chain there also. So that's a cool little car there. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about getting that back on now. Um, and then this is probably the coolest piece uh, on the train actually, and this opens up kind of like if it was uh, gonna be held to lift something up, like you'd, you'd use it to, you know, put in place so it didn't move, which I think is pretty pretty nifty idea there. I broke it with my left hand there. Um, this makes the string go up and down, or the crane. The string is probably my least favorite part about putting sets together, because my kids usually, if they play with them, they'll rip the string off. Uh, and then this right here goes up and down to lift. So there's a lot of playability with it, um, but overall, really cool, cool looking train. Uh, it also comes with, um, you know, it comes with a lot of track, actually a, a ton of track. So adding the piece, the switch that uh, lets you, you know, choose which path you want to go down um, is a is a big piece, and I know those are, are expensive. So I'd like to pick up another two pack, and then maybe in my room uh, I'll show you. Maybe right here somewhere, I'd like to have one come, you know, out and then kind of see if I can make the trains loop and bolt through there. We'll, we'll see what I can do. Um, and then we have, uh, the, so the switch comes with it. It comes with uh, 16 straight pieces and 16 curves. Whenever I get train track pieces, I usually put them all in one bin and save them because like I said, I have everything around my room already around the train and I don't have any extra use for them right now. But like if I set a train track up upstairs for the kids to run around or, you know, Christmas coming up, I'll drop a train track up around the tree this year. And uh, it's nice to have the extra track. So it comes with the track, comes with two little crossway signs for uh, the path that would be used for cars or whatever. So I'm going to put 
the path and the crossway signs somewhere in my in my city over there um, just to use those. And then uh, it comes with this bank truck. I'll move the train out of the way, which I think the bank truck is very cool. Once again, the bank truck also, oh, from the other side, sorry about that. The other side opens up and you can also put the money in there. Put the money in the bank truck, and shut it. Little minifigure there, driving the bank truck. And then probably the most uh, rad or nostalgic part of this for me is the forklift. When I was younger, I had a crane set that was um, the crane that went by the ocean. I don't remember what it was called, but it had a big red crane and one of the things was a forklift. So, you know, just uh, having, see, to having to be able to see a forklift and, and actually have one comes down and up and, you know, pretty cool. So the rubber band makes it go up or down, but very nice forklift and the money goes right on there also. So obviously the money can be transferred from a ton of different locations and that's that. Guys, I'll be honest, I couldn't tell you what this set sold for because I got it for a gift. I think it's around $200, um, especially with all the train tracks. And the, it comes with it actually comes with a powered-up function and a powered-up um, controller. My kid loves the controller because you can uh, choose to make the car go faster or slower and then obviously wipe it out constantly like what they were doing when I had it upstairs. Um, I, I probably won't use this. Uh, I'll hook it up to the powered up on my phone and, and try to use that. But uh, also comes with, I, let's see, the minifigures are on the back here. I can show you, so I'm not going to get them all out. But it comes with six minifigures. Right there. Very cool. And just, there's a lot that you can do with this. So Lego City Train, I will show you. Um, in my room, if the trains aren't running, I usually put them up on these Ikea shelves. And so I had one up here and I would normally just put everything up there and leave it. I actually forgot to show this off also. Uh, so I'll set this up here. But um, just a, 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 la a ladder, a little tower, kind of showing, showing everything there. On the inside it shows uh, a door to the inside and then it shows the track and the layout and um, probably the person that's in charge of the switch for the actual train. So, any worker. But, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll leave this up here. Um, whoops. I'll leave this up there. I'll put the train all up there for display unless I want to unless I want to run that train uh, in my room. So, overall, I think this is a great set. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to have this train in my collection, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.